the mission is being defined under resolute support as success of the Afghans. The long-term impact of this mission, you know, if you define success as Afghan success under resolute support, is really the inability to, to personally touch that, because uh, I don't spend a lot of time interacting with the Afghans. Your mission here in Afghanistan is pretty non-traditional for an infantry division. Yes, you have security, but you're doing an awful lot of logistics. Divisions play a large role in logistics even back at home. You know, division's role was really a resourcing headquarters. So it's, prior, you know, allocating and prioritizing resources, which is not much different than what we do over here. It, it's not the type of mission I'm used to when I'm deployed because of the logistics focus, but it's not something that is abnormal for a division headquarters. So your primary focus is on the drawdown? Really, it's U.S. forces, the day-to-day -day is, is the U.S. forces support across all classes of supply. Then we'll get to the drawdown piece. People are the easy part. People get on an airplane, they fly away. It's, it's all of the equipment and the infrastructure, and all that equipment and infrastructure represents missions. So it's the sequencing of when missions end, how you get soldiers out, and really when you get soldiers out, and then all of the equipment that goes along with those soldiers. But Afghanistan is still a dangerous place. Oh, absolutely. It's still an area of active hostilities. You still get hit with rockets and IEDs? Lots of rockets, um, IEDs out in uh, you know the, the ground defense area around Bagram. We've had a couple RPGs shot at helicopters. Uh, we've been direct fire attacks a couple times since we've been here. It's much lower than it, than it used to be, uh, but we're getting into the middle, uh, beginning of fighting season now. So that, that will pick up eight uh, December, highest number of rocket attacks ever against Bagram. Uh, so it's still, it is still an area of active hostilities and it's still a, a dangerous environment. Fighting season is upon us. This year the Afghans will be taking on the fight by themselves. Do you have confidence in them keeping you secure? Um, good and getting better. So what I have outside the wire really to suppress the rockets is uh, I've got a Georgian battalion and a Czech company partnered with the Afghans in the lead. Uh, there's one company really from the 201st Corps, then a, a MP battalion, Afghan MP battalion that works with the Georgians. And the Afghans have never really worried about the area around Bagram because there's always been a large U.S. presence here and we've taken care of it for them. But the Afghan government realizes this is their responsibility. So there has been a cipher, uh, an order came out from the Ministry of Defense that told the Afghan units they are responsible for security of specifically airfields throughout the country. So I'm not getting pushback on, you know, getting the Afghans out and getting the Afghans to do what they need to do. It's just a skill level thing right now. So that's, that's why we're investing a lot of time and effort into increasing their skill and their capability of doing it. Is the Bagram footprint still changing? Oh, yeah. So we're down to about 17,000. One time it was 23, 24, 25,000. We've knocked down 1,200 wooden structures. We've got about 1,000 more to go. The last time you were here, there was probably, in, in the retrograde yards, it was probably completely full of, of stuff waiting to be retrograded. As you drive around this time, they're almost empty. And then you have to make the assumption to say we're where we need to be, that we had accountability of everything. And that wasn't true either. So we're still finding stuff that's come over here over the last 13 years, sitting in the dark corners of fobs that uh, nobody really knew it was there. So, I mean, we're continuing to push stuff out as best we can. The, all the repair parts sitting here at Bagram was really scoped for about a 50,000 soldier presence, so we're bringing that down. The central issue facility, uniforms, and everything else was really scoped for about a 50 or 60,000 soldier footprint, so we're continuing to get that out. And, and all that's just designed to make the job next year, now that this announcement's been made, easier when it's time to get everything out. So. You describe things that are going along fairly well, but this is Afghanistan. Nothing is simple. What is your greatest struggle? Well, my number one focus is, is security of this place, Bagram, and really the safety of the people here on Bagram. The inability to, to really get out and, and prosecute targets inside the GDA from a, a pure U.S. standpoint makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, although our Afghan partners on the Afghan Special Forces side have done a phenomenal job in the last four months prosecuting targets. What about the Afghan people that live in the communities around Bagram? Do you get a sense from them? How do they feel about this continuing drawdown? 
There's a little bit of angst right now. You know, as Bagram gets smaller, we obviously need less, need to employ less local Afghans. Um, so they're convinced that we're firing local Afghans more than we need to. And so that's kind of a constant reinforcement of, of you know, the, the employment we provide. They're all convinced we're going to be here for a very long time. And I keep telling them we're leaving, you know, at the end of 2016, and, and none of them believe me that we're leaving at the end of 2016. Bagram has had such a positive impact on the economy of Parwan and Bagram District. I, I think it's, it has had such a positive impact for such a long time. I don't think people really realize what this does for the, the local economy here in the area. Uh, I don't get a lot of complaints about noise. I don't get a lot of complaints about aircraft taking off and, and landing. I think they're probably just used to it by this time. It's a very cooperative, uh, great governor, the PCOP is doing a pretty good job. New commander of the Provincial Security Unit here in Par 1. New commander out at the prison. The team is right and the cooperation is there. You describe an Afghanistan that is moving forward and yet you read the headlines and there are suicide bombers, there are IEDs, there is corruption, mm -hmm. uh, there are still political cabinets that have not been f filled. Uh, the success of this mission will be defined by the Afghans and how well we do to prepare them to maintain their own security long term. So are there still suicide bombings? Absolutely. You know, the Taliban right now um, are killing uh, Afghan security forces, but for the most part they're killing Afghan civilians. And, and I think the Afghan civilians are starting to, or already have started to, realize that that's what's going on. There's not a lot of Afghan people that are looking forward to having the Taliban come back and take over. Daesh, ISIL, ISIS, uh, they're here. The Taliban are very nervous about ISIS in Afghanistan uh, because insurgent groups in, in Afghanistan for a very long time have operated under the, under the authority of the Taliban. Of course, the ISIS, aren't plan ISIS is not playing that game. So there's actually some infighting between ISIS and Taliban. So how do you sum this up? at this point in your deployment? From a U.S. 4A, you know, deputy commander's support for General Campbell, it really comes down to how well we set up uh, next year, next calendar year, for the eventual drawdown and retrograde. This will be an interesting fighting season. It's a very interesting, fight, or it's a very important fighting season uh, for President Ghani and CEO Abdullah. I think if they come out of this fighting season and it's seen as the Afghans have lost this fighting season, I think the next three years of his presidency is going to get very little done. I think the Afghans have a real chance to do well this fighting season. We'll lose some ground temporarily, but I think when the Afghans take it, try to go to take it back, uh, they will quickly take it back and hold it.